To mark National Day Against Police Brutality in Colombia, several social and human rights organizations are protesting against the impunity surrounding the killings of protesters by the mobile anti-disturbance squadron and the violation of human rights by the police. Our correspondent, Hernán Tobar, brings us more. These footprints painted on the streets of downtown Bogotá are part of the activities carried out by human rights youth groups, social and victims organizations against police brutality and excess in Colombia on the 22nd anniversary of the creation of this mad mobile disturbance squad, which, according to these organizations, has killed more than 45 protesters. We consider that this is a criminal apparatus. They are murderers. They have done it systematically, and the only solution is their, their training nor their reform, but their elimination. We are also requesting a substantial reform of the police that also includes, of course, training in human rights. Also, all crimes committed by the police are not judged by the military criminal justice system, but they are judged by the civil justice system. These groups and human rights organizations state that between 2017 and 2019, 289 homicides were registered at the hands of members of the police. They also registered 39,613 injured people and announced that in 102 cases acts of social violence have been committed. Therefore, they called the attention of both the institutions and the justice system to investigate these facts. Of all these acts, only two cases have been sentenced. We have had a record of more than 40,000 investigations launched by the prosecutor's office for police abuses. That is, overall, for all police abuse. These investigations have not made progress, specifically in the week of action against police violence, linked to the anti-disturbance squadron, which goes out into the streets to beat and injure people and so on. What we're seeking in the first place is to have the squadron shut down. Secondly, to investigate the crimes committed by the squadron. More than 45 young protesters have been killed. We call to conduct an investigation into the mutilation of more than 27 young people who in the last year lost their eyes due to rubber bullets fired directly at their eyes. These actions that aim to raise awareness and remind people of the police abuse and systematic crimes committed by ESMAD reached the site where Dylan Cruz fell, a young protester who was killed by a riot squad agent on November 23, 2019, and who has become an example of a struggle and resistance to government policies. Dylan was killed for participating in a march in which he was demanding the right to free and quality public higher education. But in Colombia, asking for the right to education, for the right to work, asking for the right to health, for the possibility to peaceful protest, calling out repressed people who denounce human rights violations. It has become a risky task, and we are not fully aware of all the people who have been killed. The activities include a photographic gallery, which shows the victims caused by the actions of the mobile anti-disturbance squad and members of the police in general, as a way to raise awareness among the population and demand justice in the face of the impunity that reigns in these cases. Hernán Darío Tobar, Telesur, Bogotá.